Hello, we are going to unbox the final encounter of Caverns Deep, the Dread Hollow Forest. And in honor of this forest terrain, we're unboxing it out here in the wilderness, the deep wilderness of Bushwick. So, yeah. oh, we got a tree at least and some grass. So. All right, here we go. Let's start with our sheep pack. Wow, yeah. it's some boxes. Get in boxes. Whoa. Small tree. Wow, we got a lot of trees in here. Heavy forest, late forest. All oh, the cave mouth. We're going to do some last. Sit down there. Escarpments. Escarpments. Okay, let's start with a little, uh, let's start like little and not so exciting. You ready? So we have uh, stilts. These are just for lofting up your stuff uh, one piece height. They're 38 millimeters high. Uh, they've got magnet on the bottom, metal on the top, so you can double stack them if you want, or they'll stick to the bottom of your pieces. We'll illustrate in a second when we open some pieces. Stilts, done. Uh, not littering, don't worry. All right, next we've got, ooh, this is fun. We're going right to fun details. We've got the bramble pack here. Ooh, they, hey, they got the right, oh, I'm so excited to see this. So our first batches of stuff had the wrong sort of thank you paper. This is our new and improved. Thanks for buying Dwarven Forge. Tag us in your builds. It gets rice to there. Yeah. So you won't see those old black and white ones from KS1. We finally retired those like, Seven Kickstarters later, or whatever we have, uh, we have new ones. Woo that right there. All right, so we've got wow, eight of these thorn walls. And these little guys, little bramble walls, and these are they're sharp. Yeah, we're making Michelle's fingers bleed. And look, there's a the little rabbit for rabbit burner. See the little rabbit there? Oh, he's even got a little nose. He's got a little pink nose. Ah, oh, it's the best. All right, so we got eight of those. Boom, boom, boom. And these are little bramble patches, which you could use for difficult terrain. Maybe it's razor vine, maybe it's just decorative. Good look, put it on a battle mat, it look good. All right, let's get bigger now. Let's open up some uh, some actual forest. Let's start with the light forest here. Ooh, look at that. Mm. These nice green labels. So all of our, our new labels are now branded, so we'll say like this one says wilderness and it's green. Caverns are blue, dungeons are red. Can't remember the other one. Janet worked out a whole color scheme. Alright, whoa, look at these beasts. Ooh, packed in styrofoam, keep it safe. Smart. So this is the light force for though. It's pretty heavy for light, I'll be honest. It's got look at all of these. So we've got I mean, oh there's two of these. Oh man, I think it's starting to rain. It's getting very authentic. Um, so you see we have our sort of our one inch grid is hidden in there in the foliage. Uh, we've got, these are the stumps for our modular trees, which will open and we've got a little integrated uh, irregular height there, some cool rocks. And stuff that touches that little textures on the sides. All right, so boom, and boom. Those, oh, and we, no, we lost them. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, they blend right in, get flush. So these oh. stilts. If you want to lock these up, you can stick. So there's anchor magnets, four anchor magnets in the bottom of these. You can pop them on the uh, stilts here. Uh, uh, oh, later. So then also, wow, there's a lot of these in here. Wow. Also in this light forest path, we have these guys, which is three by six. Oh, so this is six by six. So four of these make a square foot and fit on one of our uh, train trays. This is the um, the three by six, so this is half that size. So if you want to offset stuff, whatever little dirt patches, little rocks, you can see all those squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five. You, know, you know how to count. <laughs> we can figure that out. It's like, we're starting to have a Sesame Street episode. So we got three of those. Um, and two of these guys. These are the little tiny Louis lads. These are the little three by threes. There's lots of rocks, and then together these can make bum bum bum. All of this makes one square foot. I'm burying these poor brambles. We're totally gonna leave some pieces out here because it's gonna blend right in with the wilderness. 
I already can't tell which yeah. is which. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Brambles. Lake forest. Boom. And it's definitely starting to rain. This is me. I'm, <laughs> I am not going to stop. Hey, mark my words on camera. I'm not going to stop. It could be pouring rain. We're going to open this thing. Selena's going to stop. This. I'm about to pop you that You got a rain jacket on. She's got her death safe jacket. You know who gave her that jacket? Joe Manchinello handed it to her personally. Oh my gosh. Stop. Uh, all right. Got more of these. Oh, more cool styrofoam. Like cleverly. Some guys are like go in there and like do some crazy Minecraft stuff with styrofoam. All right. So this is. Oh, wait. This is more light forest. Huh. That's why it looks like almost the same. What's this again for? Am I losing my mind? Oh, I see. Okay, ah, yeah. So the heavy forest. I forgot how I broke these packs up. So that this is. So the heavy forest has one of the same floors. The medium floor that has two stumps. And it has this one, which is super heavy. That has three different uh, stumps on it. The other one had two stumps. This has three stumps. The dirt patches leaves like roots. And you know, all your squares. Boom, 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 boom. Good looker. All good together. And then I think there's another one of those guys in here. Yeah, man, it's been like it's been like almost a year since we put this conversation together. It's a little, uh, little foggy for me, right? Over black. a year. Jeez, time. Uh, uh, here's another one, two of those. Boom, covered. Out. All right, now let's get some trees on there. What do you think? We're gonna start with a small tree pack. There's two of these small tree packs. Oh, you hear the natural sounds of the animals out in the wilderness here? <laughs> It was a cement, <laughs> a cement beast, <laughs> a mixer of cement, wandering by the cat calls on the tree. Did we just get cat calls? I think so. Oh, okay. Like, hey, nice terrain. <laughs> that looks nearly indestructible. Woo, we love it. All right, what do we have here? All right. Wow, there's a lot Okay, so we've got a bunch of these modules of Three parts. We start with the base. We have whoa! Oh, we got the All right. So we have four of these. Uh, uh, what are they? The bare trunk bottoms and two of these little uh, stump toppers. So you can use these if you just don't want to have a tree. You pop this on your stump. Oh man, that's a tight fit. That's good. And boom, pop that on. If you want to actually build a tree, you can start with a bare base. Pop that on, and then we start doing our levels. So we have. These layers, pop there. Man, these are tight. You know, we didn't want them to wobble, and uh, mission accomplished. Whew. Yeah, where's the middle? Okay, here's another one. This shape. I mean, only Eli can tell the difference between these shapes. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Oh. That's the same. How many sections? Okay, this is a different. No, it's the same section. These are a lot of hand sculpted leaves. One, two, three. Every single one? Four. It's pretty outrageous, actually. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, they are slightly different. All right, so there's two different shapes. You can slightly tell the, uh, the difference. Uh, nice brown branches underneath. Uh, so you can sort of mix and match as you see fit. You can go up as high as you want. Right there. Boom. And this is a, uh, oh, modular tree. Look at that. So we got a topper that's solid. These middle, middle and bottom and middle sections each have a uh, you know, so you can build out. You can just do a little shorty if you want. Like right there. Alright. So we have a lot of tree bits. Yeah. Three bits. Uh, all right, we've got another small tree pack. We are drowning. This is a forest. We got a lot of trees. It's no joke. Right, four tons of trees. So one of the reasons we made these um, these modular trees and tree bases one is so you can sort of customize your trees and make them feel more organic. But two is so if you get in the combat, you can just pop your tree up out of the way. Uh, and you can access your miniatures more easily, but you know where the, you know, you know where the trees are because the stump is baked in. This is like, it's like a giant bush pile now. That's a lot of these. Right. 
and more of more tree bits, bare stumps, chunk toppers. Alright, let's see. Here, little bits. Alright, so now let's get to the big, these are large trees. We got two large tree packs. Those are the small trees. Nah. These large trees. We got one. Next one stays by. The sounds of the forest have right? really gathered. Yeah. The local wildlife is really, uh, it's alerted to our presence. It's, 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 I don't know if it's friendly. Probably wow, not. Look how big the large trees are. Well, we got those guys. Two of those guys. Okay, so you can see the diameter difference in the large trees and the small trees, and the trunk. But the peg holes are still the same, so you could, uh, you could mix and match if you'd like. A few more modular options. We have another bear trunk bit that on this on boom all right now we have the middle section so we had two bottom sections two middle sections so here the middle section and that section boom and then switch those Oh, and we have a stump topper, two of these. Nice shape thing. So you can pop that. One. Get it there. And then. It's still raining. <laughs> Turns out. Oh, the wind is picking up. Alright, we got uh, we have two toppers here. And then you can pop that on like this. A big tree. You know what? We're gonna have to build we have to erect a shelter with all these trees. Out. You could if you wanted, just put it right on the side. Uh, umbrella. Yeah, a little camera umbrella. A little uh, phone umbrella. Alright. Oh, more space racer. Alright, so we got two more of those middle segments. Two more bottom segments. More toppers, tree toppers. That's really like the super dangerous job is the topper, the guy who climbs up the uh, the lumberjack who climbs up the tree, and then they go while they're strapped to the tree, they top chop the top of the tree off while they're in the tree, which seems wild. But you know, you could actually do that with these, right? You get a good mini, like climb up. Top That's what my dad does. He's a topper. Uh, wow. Climber. Yeah, your dad's a lumberjack. <laughs> he wears plaid. He does. Uh. A little tougher. These guys. Right. Uh, okay. I, I started to bury. No, no, no. We got more. Oh, oh. No, we got more rain. Oh, yeah. Well, that oh. bunch of that trash. I sort of mixed the, I mixed the trash and the pieces together because I didn't want to litter up on this part. All right. Here we have. This is cool. This is our little scatter pack, right? Yeah. So this, once again, guarded by Skis Ah, I'm a lizard queen. Um. And this guy, which we'll get back to there because it also serves as a great topper for our cake top pack. We'll get to that. Um, and let's put like, on our movies. This guy is fantastic for. If you want to just throw this on a battle mat, do a little something like that. Wow, this is a firm fit. It's a really uh, a joke. Boom. You have a little like pop down on your battle mat to the tree and you want. And then you can do the same thing. Oh, we got more. We got three little, little jagged stump tops, two littles and one big. Uh, yeah, this little guy is adorable. This is a freestanding stump base. So if you want, oh, you can just do one section. We'll just do the little top. You can make like a little tiny, little baby Yoda tree. Look at that. <laughs> you know, or you can put any size tree. It's modular, right? So that. And then got one big, big boy. And we have us put the stump top right there. So some orcs came by and just chopped it down. That's what we got left. All right, we're, we're getting there, and the rain continues. Yeah, it's more. The rain persists. All right, so we've got. Get to that guy. All right. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going up. We're going in elevation. We're gonna build this cave to take refuge in. <laughs> I'm gonna have a droopy mohawk by the time this is done. <laughs> more skis rice. Hi. All right. Now, oh, let's start with the little boys. All right, so we got. This is a little scarf in the corner. Look at that thing. Little spots for your minis to come up. Bump. Side profile. It's a three by three. 
Got an inside here so you can do a little curved. Yay. You could sort of put it like that if you want. These are gonna play really nice with the Aaron Thor's. Uh, you can see your squares in there. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, yeah, you can count. Uh, boom, and these are the big, big straight boys. Look at those guys. And that has got heft. Ooh, 38 millimeters high. Look at the back of those roots coming through the back. Ooh, delightful. And of course, you can put some trees on here if you want, because yes, you want to. Man, this is, uh, he kept saying make the tip the fit tighter, and uh, they did. They did take fit. Uh, oh, so those, remember those, those, uh, those uh, stilts we were talking about before? You can use those to get this up to the same height, I guess, so you can build your forest floor and have it go up a layer. Uh, if you'd like, and then have that build up so nicely. Let's remove our giant mound of bushes. Boom, 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 boom. And we put this guy, a little curve there. This guy, here, here. Uh, the, we're gonna bring these back with uh, authentic mud caked on them. It's gonna be great. All right, this is, and oh, we have some more stilts in there. We just wanna do some elevating. Stilts. Those. All right, we have uh, another elevation. All right, we have three boxes left. We're almost there. And I think, uh, I think the rain might be stopping. This is good. No, it's not. No. Nope. Take it all back. No. Nope. All lies. All right. Let's guess why it returns. All right. Same thing. We have another, another little corner. Another inside. Here, a couple of. Stilts. I don't know why I only had three stilts in there, but that was an interesting choice. I don't know why I made that. It, it, the math makes sense somehow, but I'm not sure why. These guys are so big. Look, so what these guys. You can also do a neat thing with these. Where's the other guy? Where'd it go? If you get four of these, you can make like a neat little, uh, uh, like a little plateau in the middle of your build if you want. So. It's. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, man. Yeah. All right. Two more boxes. Let's do the cave mouth. This is where we will take shelter from the storm. This cave, although we are not 25 millimeter scale, so it meant it's not going to work out. All right, this is the penultimate skis race. Uh, tag us in your build. No, seriously, though, like. Take a build, take a, make a build, take some photos, tag on social media, send us. We want to see your builds. We love it. It makes us so happy to see. Ah, oh, this thing is so cool. Okay, so we've got in its protective armor of plastic the gnarled tree. Look at this guy. Rawr. Big little hole for some some critter to live. It's all. It's like a mangy tree. Uh, so we have another one of these guys. Same as that. But what's fun with that is, oh, and we have a, oh, we have a couple little stump toppers to, what? Little stumps, so we can put one on here. And then I can throw the other one back in the box. And then, ah, oh, this piece, this is such a cool piece. The cave. Oh, yeah. It's even better with a little bit of rain on it, too. Listen. So, this thing, uh, is a great transition. So it lines up with your escarpments, like yay. Uh, this fits over the top if you want to make a nice big cave. Put the gnarled tree right there. Oh! And then you can uh, give entrance. This lines up with our caverns passages. Really nice here, any of our caverns pieces. You can see the building right from here. Um, and you can also flip this around. The other way, boom. Yeah, love this cave entrance. This is the transition, this is where the danger happens. You go in here and then it's, you know, it's the last they ever see anybody. Look at this little frog. It's got a little blue frog in there. Ah, such a cool sculpt. And man, it's got heft. All right, Last and box, last box. Last box. It's a biggie. This is the adventure pack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, there's something in here. Stephanie is in here. 
So we'll get to that in a moment. It's Ben from Die Hard named yeah. her, right? Yep. Oh, we got bubble wrap, nice. rare uh, limited edition bubble wrap. Um, all right, so what do we have? Wow, there's so many fun things in here. Okay, let's start with this guy. This is... So we have this cool mushroom covered stump. This was a big tree. I mean, that's like an inch and a half diameter. So that would be like a, uh, it was like an eight foot diameter tree or something, seven foot diameter tree. Uh, and of course this top pops off if you want. And you can uh, have, and maybe that's a hole that goes down to something terrible. There's a little knot hole that maybe the sniper shoots out of. Um, you can rig up a little light under there if you want. Some fun bits. You could have this thing blow off. It's upside down. I don't know. There. Something neat. At the, uh, the Gen Con game where we revealed this, I had the top of this thing blow off and energy come out. It was resurrecting uh, Grimorna's Yorgrim. Yeah, it's a cool piece. It's a cool piece. Good. Also, just throw it on a battle mat if you want. Scatter things up. Um, oh, these are cute. These are the little fairy rings. Ooh, they've got some iridescence to them. Maybe it teleports you to the Feywild. Maybe you can eat them. Maybe it's protective. Uh, maybe you harvest them for components. Uh, this thing is up. The spirit tree. Look at that massive, gnarly beast. Uh, just a huge absurd rig. Imagine how big that tree was in real you know it was like a 20 foot diameter tree in real life. Cool little beetle there. All these little spots you can perch your minis. It's cool. Root hanging out over the side. Um, and of course it's, it's hollow so you can uh, once again you can have this transition down to a terrible cave or if you like we added or it's kind of at the last minute uh, we added this little guy. Let's see sure. the swirling uh, energy. Look at that. Wow. Cast some translucent, and it, of course, has some LEDs inside. Ah, this thing up. Because we want to make this thing look awesome. All right, so it's remote control LEDs, so we can change the thing of strobing, a little pulsing, breathing, and it fits. Uh, it fits right in here. It's designed to sit in there and look really cool. Uh, you know, we were like, we could just put a light pot in there, but if you see it, it doesn't, it breaks your immersion. So this is like a really neat way to dress that thing up. Uh, so let's put this right in the middle of, man, we have a lot of forest out here. Mud. Boom. Plus the tree, and then, a couple of nice remote. And then last but not least, the Apex Primordial. This was our final stretch goal. Oh, look at this guy. Woo! Ooh, actually, it turns out it's a gal, Ben from yeah, Ben from Die Hard, named uh, her Stephanie this weekend, and he he's in love. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work Stop out. Stop embarrassing him. A, that thing is just absolutely massive, and there's like three critters hidden down there. There's a spider, there's a beetle somewhere. Oh, there's a beetle. I don't know. You have to find all the fun bits on it on her, Stephanie. Just absolutely massive. All right, that is uh, look at that. This is the Dreadhaller Forest. This is a, uh, and I think uh, I think the rain is stopping it. Nope. Ish. Maybe. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Well, look at this beautiful build we have here. Yeah. It's so so lifelike and and natural. And, this is the build um, of the month. So the build of the month. Enjoy. Feast your eyes. Uh, all right, we're gonna go leave the wilds and go back to shelter. <laughs> Bye.